Sorry, guys. Welcome to race one of season two of the Double E Cup Series. 27 drivers prepare to take on Richmond International Raceway, some new and some old, and among the old is our defending champion, G-Man 34491, this year driving the number 18. Here's our starting lineup for today's race. On the pole is the number two of Dom Caps, along with the number 11 of Phil Jones. And we have 88 fan 0311 and Chris Cook. And we have Jacob Grant in the 5 and Jason Marshall in the 29. And NASCAR the Game 6 and the Speedinator. And we have Rob Bob in the 56 and Jacob Hayes in the 24. Along with our defending champ G-Man and Buddy Pulley. And we have NTG11 Gamer and Michael Jeter. Along with Dylan Rash and Chase Normile. Then we have Carson in the 99 and Brandon Bain in the 42 with Eric C. Ray in the 55 and Thomas Baker in the 9. Then we have Maxwell Vady and Sounders 88. Then we have Mason Wood in the 14 and Jared Magoon in the 27. Along with Joe Rutt in the 88 and Trey Normile in the 31. With Eugene Demax in the 21 rounding it out. Let's take a quick look at the race info. It's a 20 lap race around this short track. We have 27 cars as usual and we're ready to get started. Brad Keselowski leads us to the green in the second Double E Cup Series. He gets a good run on the, out, on the inside and he's gonna clear Denny Hamlin right away. There's a good battle behind him for third. Oh, and there's a little contact there with the 99 and the 20. Logano moves up the racetrack a little bit. As he's a battle for fourth, it's Boer trying to get around Jimmy Johnson. Looks like he will be able to do that. Middle of the pack, a lot of guys two by two as the top seven or so have really single filed out. Kozlowski starting to open up his lead over Denny Hamlin as Boyer's trying to get around Casey Kane. That's for third. And there's a spin on the back stretch. It's Kevin Harvick around. Jeff Gordon is involved as well. Caution is out on lap six. As on the replay, it appears that Truex got into the Harvick just a little bit and he spun right into the path of Jeff Gordon. Good, by, good job by everyone to avoid the wreck. As Kevin Harvick has a lot of damage, he'll probably be sent to the garage. So will Jeff Gordon, who just had nowhere to go except into the middle of the wreck. Now, Martin Truex Jr. has a little bit of damage, but he will be able to continue this race. As we're ready to get it restarted. Keselowski chooses the outside line this time, and he gets a good run and will hold the lead. But now Denny Hamlin wants it. Denny Hamlin is fighting back on the inside line here, and he's going to be able to clear Keselowski off a of turn two. New leader is the number 11 of Denny Hamlin. As he's already beginning to open it up a little bit. As here's Kyle Busch and Sam Morris Jr. They've been battling for a while now. As Kenseth and Biffle battling as well. As Hamlin's still trying to pull away from Brad Keselowski. And now it's a spin in turn two. It's Austin Dillon, Danica Patrick, Carl Edwards all, in, all involved. On the replay, it looks like Martin, Mark Martin got into the back of Dillon. And he slid right up into the 10. And 99 car had nowhere to go. A lot of damage on all three of those race cars. Tough break for them. Not a good way to start their season. Carl Edwards has been sent to the garage already. As we'll restart here. Several laps to go. As it's Denny Hamlin now leading us to the green. Ooh, Keselowski did not get going. Oh, and he goes around. Casey King gets into the back of Brad Keselowski, and then he spins. Going into turn one. Look on the replay. Just Keselowski does not get going on the inside line. And the five car just gives them a slight bump as they head into turn one and it spins them all the way around. No damage on the two car. He'll be able to continue, but he'll be in the back. As Hamlin will lead us to the green again. This time Jimmy Johnson is on the inside. He has a good run right here. He's battling back. Go around in turn four. They're dead even with three to go. Hamlin trying to get around on the outside, but it's Johnson who does instead. Coming around turn four, two to go. Johnson has the lead. But now Kev but now here comes Denny Hamlin. Johnson gets loose. He's going to lose several spots. Denny Hamlin secures the lead as Johnson falls back to fifth. Can he get back in line? I don't think so. Denny Hamlin is out front and he is not going to look back. Denny Hamlin wins at Richmond. Race one of season two of the WWE Cup Series goes to Denny Hamlin. Jimmy Johnson ends up finishing fifth as he was leading coming down to two to go. 
as Denny Hamlin celebrates in the number 11. Here's the final result. As you see, Phil Jones takes the win. NASCAR the game, six finishes second. Jacob Grant third. Chris Cook fourth. 88 fans, 831. One finishes fifth. Even though he was battling for the lead there at the end. Defending champ, G Man 34491 finishes eighth. And all seven of these drivers here were involved in those three wrecks some way. Here's your point standings. It's about the same. But Phil Jones has a four point lead because of the three bonus points he gets for winning. So that helps him out. As it's so early on in the season, tough start for some of these guys, but there's so many more races left to go. Plenty of time for people to catch up. Especially these bottom seven here who are involved in the wrecks today. Not the way they want to start off their season, but they can definitely get out of that. Congratulations to the number 11 of Phil Jones for winning his first WWE Cup Series race. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with race two in a couple weeks from Atlanta Motor Speedway. Until then, see you later.